Riding a motorcycle allows you to take something that you that, that, that you would possibly take for granted in a car. Um, even a boring trip, you know, down to the supermarket can be made into an experience. You're, you're gonna find yourself out in the elements. You're gonna find yourself, you know, you know out there on the road. And it's hot. It's cold. You're you're, you're more connected with with the experience of your trip, with with the experience of your drive, with, with the experience of your ride. Maintenance is absolutely just. It, it's it's incredibly important to to your ride. Um, some of the simplest things that you can do yourself um, is maintain you have good tire pressure. Um, make sure that your, the fluids are good on your bike, um, mainly your, your oil. It's, uh, it's really easy to change the oil in your, in your motorcycle. Uh, the, the, tool, the tools that you would need to, you know, to, to change the oil on your bike, you need, you need to first and foremost have uh, two oil pans, uh, one for the oil filter and then one, one for the main, uh, main reservoir for oil. Uh, screwdriver uh, to remove the oil drain line at the bottom of the bike. Um, you're going to need uh, a strap wrench to remove the oil filter. Uh, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to warm, uh, warm up your bike. Uh, this will help the, the fluid um, drain easier, uh, much easier, much faster out of the vehicle. After the vehicle is good and warm, uh, you're going to want to open up the cap uh, to the main reservoir to your bike, which will, which will also assist in the draining of the vehicle. Um, then you want to place a pan underneath the vehicle, a collection pan that you can be using to collect the, the old oil out of. Um, then you want to unscrew uh, the main drip line. Uh, after that, you going to want to place a pan underneath where the oil filter is. Um, and then you're going to use your, your strap wrench to, uh, to unscrew that. After which time, uh, the oil is going to be draining from the vehicle. Give it some time to come to a small trickle to eventually start uh, to, to just like a very, very slow drip. Uh, after that point in time, you want to stand the vehicle up, which will drain more of the oil out of it. And then after it becomes a slow drip, um, just begin to rock the vehicle from side to side. Um, after that, go ahead and put the bike into a good, uh, good resting position. After the vehicle's in a resting position, you're going to want to take your oil filter, fill it up about half full with uh, fresh new oil. And then with a little bit of oil on your finger, you're going to want to apply liberally to both the inside of the filter as well as the, uh, well as the seal of the, of the filter. This activates the seal and gives it a good, a good nice seat to make sure you have no drips. At the same time, after you do that, you want to do the same thing on the seal for your bike. After you've activated both seals, go ahead and, and, and screw uh, your filter back in. Um, after you've done that, go ahead and, uh, and re-screw in the, the drain line. And then uh, after you're screwing the main drain line, go ahead and, uh, and start filling in the, uh, the main reservoir with about three quarts of oil. After you've already filled up your, your reservoir through about three quarts of oil, go ahead and replace the cap to your main reservoir. Then go ahead and uh, mount your bike and uh, turn it over. It might give you a, a low oil sign, but that's because you've just literally drained all the fluids from your bike. And it's gonna, get a, it's gonna take about a minute or two for, for all those fluids to get back and cycle through, uh, th through the whole engine block. How often you should change your, uh, the oil in your motorcycle all depends on how hard and how long you ride. Um, you know, for your average rider, it's around six months or so. But if you've been riding much harder and much longer, you know, it can be half that, so every three months or so. If you don't maintain uh, proper maintenance on your bike, you not only put yourself at risk, but you also put other motorists at risk, at risk that are on the road with you. 